Let me tell you something right now. They are a familiar sound in your backyard. I'm talking about cicadas. We all know them. We all hear them. A lot of us love their sounds. I am here with our friend, nature nerd Pam Otto. She is the research ambassador for the St. Charles Park District. Uh, good morning. Good to have you as always. Hey, glad to be here. Well, tell me, tell me all I need to know and should know about cicadas. Uh, well, we're going to need an hour, Pat. But in a nutshell, yeah. um, so cicadas, like we were just talking about, they are a part of every summer evening starting around the 4th of July and going on till our first frost. Um, they are actually an important part of our local food chains because they are pure protein. Um, they are, now what we're going to talk about today are what we call the annual cicadas. What do you mean they're part of our food chain? <laughs> I, don't, the, I don't know that I recall know, myself big, ever having they, one. Maybe they are, you have? They are edible. We're in the yeah. kitchen. Um, yeah. We'll probably save that for next year when the periodical cicadas okay. come out. Because, they, yeah, people do eat these things. Um, Let me ask you this, too. You mentioned they don't start until 4th of July. Why yeah. not until 4th of July? So that's when things have warmed up enough. Um, what we're hearing then are cicadas that uh, actually started as eggs maybe two years, three years, four years, sometimes up to five years ago. Uh, again, these aren't the periodical ones, the 17 year ones, they get all the glory. These guys, uh, they're underneath the ground, they're feeding on tree roots. As the soil warms up, as conditions become right for them, they come up out of the ground. Um, that's when we see those shells on the sides of trees. Gotcha. They come out of there and um, And then dare I ask where they go when away. it freezes? Uh, they go to sleep. Oh, um, <laughs> and you brought some today yeah. that are asleep too, which is really well, nice. And actually, the, the, the picture there is oh, one so that let's go we, back um, to the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so those are the shells. Mm -hmm. Those are the shells that uh, we find on the uh, on the sides of trees. But yeah, I accidentally dug one up the other day. I was preparing to move some plants around. That's how they look underneath the ground. They they eat uh, feeding on tree roots, and then they they grow. They come up on the tree. They they pop out of their shell. That was a picture my friend, uh, my neighbor Sarah took uh, of a uh, adult cicada emerging from that last uh, molt. Uh, then from there, they um, proceed up into the trees. It's only the males that do the singing. That's their way of, um, should we say, wooing the females? Oh. Who will respond if they're in, you know, Are you liking what they hear, they will click. Now who's this here? So that Does is, that is one of the nymphs. So we call them nymphs at this point. Oh. <laughs> and they, uh, I uh, they, they I <laughs> come up out do. of the ground. <laughs> uh -huh. and, um, so you see, he's still got some mud because it's been underneath on the tree roots. Okay. And then. Um, yeah, once they find a, a suitable spot, they pop out of that shell. They climb up a little bit higher. They're not great flyers, even though they have wings. All right, but a hell of a climber. I yeah. mean, look at this guy go. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> it's hours of my night. Um, so Boy, once, it is a party out there with you, isn't it, Pam? Rock on. Um, so once they're up there, uh, the males will you know, find a good perch uh, post that they will start to uh, uh, sing from and okay. they call to attract the female. So we've got some recordings. This is a desk cicada here, well, is that what this is? Uh, that was actually, yeah, I, I have desk okay. cicadas. All right, um, <laughs> we have recordings? Yeah, let's, let's take a listen to one. There's actually four different species uh, that you can hear pretty easily throughout the Chicago okay. area. All right, this um, is... Oh, isn't that fun? There Boy, that go. just relaxes you, Pam. Isn't this yeah. One, so this one is sort of like the uh, Oh, it the was relaxing. Tool, then it got a little... Dental drill, piercing sound. That's the dog day cicada. Okay, is that one of these or no? Uh, no, you know, no. they are so hard to tell apart by looking okay. at. The average person is going to go nuts trying to identify them. But do if we you have listen, more? We do. We have well, a total more. of four. So that Let's was the dog the day. One. Now, next, we've got the Linnaeus cicada. Linnaeus, you know, the father of modern taxonomy. Yeah, you guys, you guys probably talk about you him know, all the I time. Know. But um, let's listen to him. Um, sounds kind of like either a salt shaker yeah. ch -ch 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 mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. some people say lawn sprinkler. Oh, that's just... Ch -ch 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 -ch. When you think of Linnae and, cicada. Yeah, Linnae loves salt. That's what you think. Uh, and, What's the next one? I'll so let you set it up. Right. I don't want to <laughs> steal all your the thunder. The lyric cicada. Oh. Um, so I don't know that they are terribly this. lyrical, but they have the distinction of having the longest song yeah. of any of the cicadas in our area, over uh, sometimes oh, yeah. up to a minute. Listen to how they hold that note. A lot yeah. of people call them the Whitney Houston of cicadas. Right. Is <laughs> how they can do that. Yeah, they'll always love you, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I had some like what we're doing here. <laughs>
<laughs> What's the last one? Uh, last one is actually my favorite. It's called the scissor grinder cicada. You know, oh, when I was growing dirty. up, we had the scissor grinder guy that would come down the street and he'd have that foot operated grinding wheel. Uh -huh. So it goes around and around. When did you grow around, up? During around. the Depression? I, <laughs> scissor <laughs> grinder. <laughs> and my day. <laughs> uh, he was kind of a throwback. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, the, all oh, four of these fun. can be heard locally. Uh, keep your ears open because they'll be calling now till it gets cold out. Let me tell you something. It's always yeah. fascinating when you come by, Pam. I want you to you check out the Hickory Knolls. That I gotta, I'm sorry. I, I want to get you your go. plug. The Hickory Knolls Discovery Center, a facility at St. Charles Park District. Uh, go out, go over there and check it out. Pam, thank you again, Appreciate as always. It. There right, it is, right you. there. All right. Hope to see you soon. We will be back uh, after this. Scissor grinder. Oh, so where did you grow up that you did not have the scissor grinder man? The scissor grinder man in the 19th.